welcome back to option two for how to fix change and play with color inside of Photoshop. To keep things fun, we're going to play with the same exact image as before, and we're going to build upon the hue and saturation adjustment layer that we created earlier in the option one video. And what we're going to do is navigate down to our adjustment layers again, click on it. This time we're going to choose a curves adjustment. Now, if you're at all familiar with using curves, then you know that 99% of the time people are using curves to adjust exposure. But what you may or may not know is that you can also use the curves adjustment to fix color. And that's what we're going to do today. If we look at the properties box here, you'll see that there's a tab here that says RGB. If you click on it, RGB stands for red, greens, and blues. Now, if you stayed on the RGB layer, what you would be doing when you move the curve is you'd be adjusting your exposure value. If you choose on an individual channel, be it red, green, or blue, you'll actually be playing with color and not exposure. What we're going to do is start by grabbing the red channel, but you could grab any channel. It really doesn't matter. And once you have that channel selected, again, we have that targeted adjustment tool, the little finger with the arrows. I'm going to select that and head over to the picture and decide which part of the photograph do I want to change. Now, most of what you're going to learn from doing this as a color option is going to come from experimenting and playing with these different adjustments to figure out what it is that you like and don't like about the adjustments. In other words, there isn't really a one size fits all for this tool. It's just something that's really fun and really useful and you'll have to figure out what tones and what colors you like and where. What I want to do is just show you how this works. So here we go. If I want to inject color into the darker parts of the photograph, for example, this lower right hand corner where there's a lot of shadow here under this overhang, if I wanted to put some color in those shadow details, I would just bring that little color picker into that area, click and drag. If I pull up, you'll see that I'm going to add a lot of red to this. If I pull down, I'm going to add more green to the shadows. As I said before, it's really up to you how much or how little you want to add to the photograph. I think this looks pretty good. Once I'm done with the reds, I could go back into the channels and choose a different one. I'll choose the greens. And again, with my targeted adjustment tool selected, I'll go over to the photograph and this time I'll look for something different. Instead of working with the dark parts of the photograph, I'm going to work with the light parts of the photograph. I'm going to click and drag up or drag down and see what this offers. And again, I'll head back to my RGB layers and this time I'll choose the blues and I'll go to a different part of the picture and I will drag up or drag down just to see what I get. Once I've played with all three channels and I think I've got these colors where I like it, you're ready to move on to another color option if your photo so desires. The last and final thing that I'll say about this is if you're unhappy with one of the colors that you did, you can always go back to one of those channels, let's say the green channel, and I can always go in here and make a correction if I didn't like the colors that I were uh, imposing into this picture. In other words, nothing is ever permanent. And as always, you have this little undo loop de loo button here that you could click on and it would set this back to zero and you could start all over. So that is option and two, playing with color inside of Photoshop using a curves adjustment tool. As always, we thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do that. And if you love this video, go ahead and smash that like button and we'll catch you in the next episode.